OTB Sports has landed here in Bratislava ahead of Ireland's final group game in the World Cup qualifiers. They take on Slovakia here on Tuesday night. There's a great buzz about the city and today I'm going to head along to meet some of the Irish that live here in Slovakia and play for the Slovak Shamrocks GA Club and to learn all about their club they formed 11 years ago. My name is Orla Flynn from Limerick. And Orla, how did you end up over here in Slovakia? I came to Slovakia in 2018 um, from the Middle East and I was teaching out there and now I'm working for Cambridge International School here in Bratislava. Brilliant, and we're here at the club today and we're watching the training behind us. How did you get involved with the club? Um, so I, I would have played Gaelic football when I was younger till around the age of 12 and then I took around a 20 year break. <laughs> and then when I re uh, when I arrived at Bratislava, there was a massive community here and they were very, very welcoming and um, they kind of uh, had heard that I was arriving because our school is very heavily involved with the club. So even before I had landed in Bratislava, I had a couple of messages and a couple of um, the, the communication was there and they were encouraging me to join. And I was a little bit reluctant at first, but then um, I came to one training and I just got the feel for it. They're just so welcoming and it's just that little bit of home that you, you really crave when you, you live um, outside of Ireland. Um, and since then I've, I've attended you know all the trainings the tournaments and so on and uh, I just love it for the social factor as well it's probably so important when you move away to, to have that Irish connection that home from home as you said so how important is the club to you now uh, I would see the club as my second family I know that sounds a bit cliche but um, they definitely are there for you when you need them and we have a very strong bond even outside of training even outside of tournaments we, we hang out socially and it's just a very, very close community and uh, uh, it's just that little bit of home that you really, really want. And how many Irish are on the team, would you say? Um, so I, I'm the only Irish girl on the team, um, but there are a couple of Irish guys on the team. So we have, I think, about seven or eight mm -hmm. Irish um, men. Um, so we're, we're definitely looking for more Irish girls to join the team. And it's something that we're constantly promoting and um, we would love to see more join in the future. And overall, is there a big Irish uh, community here in Slovakia? I would say there, uh, just like everywhere, there are there is a big Irish community. Uh, you'll find the Irish no matter where you go, and just like here in uh, Slovakia as well, they come out of the woodwork. You know, you you feel like you know them all, and then you're out on a weekend and you find a couple of more. So I would say there, we make ourselves known. We may not be the biggest community here, but we're definitely the loudest. <laughs> And tell me about the club. Do you have many trainings a week? Do you play in tournaments? Do you have any games? Do you have anyone to play against? Yeah, so we train twice a week on a Wednesday and a Sunday. And we have tournaments um, throughout the year. So we, we play uh, all around Europe. So we go to Germany, Poland, uh, Italy. Uh, we even play against um, teams as far as Norway, Russia. Uh, we even had a couple of Irish teams come over. Um, and we, we do try to get as, to as many tournaments as we can. And we hosted a tournament last uh, month here in Bratislava as well. So we had, I think, 10 countries come and uh, play here in Bratislava. And it was just great to host them and get, get ourselves known and get ourselves on the map. Brilliant. And looking out here now at the training, so where is everyone from? Um, so we've got a very diverse team. I think we're probably one of the most diverse teams. Whenever we go to tournaments, it, you know that the majority of teams would be Irish. But our team, actually, it's the well, minority in the ladies team for sure. Um, so we have uh, here today, we've got uh, some New Zealanders. We've got some Germans, Austrians. We've got, uh, let me see, we've got South African and we've got a Spanish and we've got many many more <laughs> and when you're looking out at them now and watching their skill you wouldn't think it um, it's unbelievable how people take to this sport at first when they come they're very scared they say they've watched it on YouTube and it's a scary <laughs> sport and then the minute they come they're they're actually they just get into it and they just pick it up and it, it's it's amazing our captain is actually Portuguese the ladies team pa captain um, so that just goes to show that you don't have to be Irish to play this sport and she uh, when she goes to tournaments, she just stands out as one of the an outstanding player, and she's not even Irish. So, uh, I would say some of the best players at the tournaments don't necessarily have to be Irish. It's just a skill that you can you can get, gain very very quickly. And um, once you have those um, ground skills, with maybe a lot of our players would have played handball before or soccer, and then they just pick up uh, Gaelic football very very quickly from there. 
and a lot of people probably played soccer before and speaking of soccer there's a pretty big game there's a great buzz here in Slovakia Slovakia against Ireland it's happening on Tuesday night we'll be heading along oh I can't wait we already have our tickets we're very very excited so we're going to be there we're going to be cheering on the Irish ladies and we know that we're, they're going to do us proud and uh, we just want to be there and support them because we love when we're at games and people support us so we will definitely be there yes I mean, if I asked you for a score prediction what do you think it's going to be I'm going to say the Irish girls are going to win 2-1 Maddie, we're here at Slovak Shamrocks GA Club in Slovakia. How long are you involved here at the club? Uh, so just less than a year, I'd say, yeah. And how did you get involved to begin with? Uh, so my brother, he'd been playing for a couple of years and he introduced me to it. Uh, and I came down and I tried it out and it was really fun. So. And where are you originally from? You don't have a, a Slovakian accent? <laughs> no, uh, I'm from England, but I've lived here most of my life. Wow, yeah. good stuff. And so how do you find Gaelic football? What's the hardest skill? I'd say that... I'm really struggling to master soloing. It's the one thing, I, every time I mess it up, but you know, it's, it's getting there. We're getting there with it. And so how does the club here work? How many times a week would you train? Um, you know, mostly once a week, sometimes twice a week, especially when we get into tournament season. Uh, but yeah, usually on Sunday afternoon. Just Brilliant. Cool. And tournament season, so what's that like? Do you actually have teams that you play against then? Yeah, so there's a pretty big, uh, you know, all over Europe, there's a lot of different uh, teams, you know, Vienna, Budapest, like all sorts of different teams. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, we traveled to Seyring and we played against the Vienna team. And yeah, we do that every now and then. So it's pretty fun. And how did you get on over there? Uh, we did pretty OK. Uh, I think that uh, the men's might have done better than the women's team, but, you know, we still had a lot of fun. So. Good stuff. And what position do you play then? Uh, I usually play sort of in defence, but, you know, midfield, that kind of thing as well. Brilliant. And show me your gloves. So where did you get these? Like, where uh, would people in, when well, living in Slovakia get your hands on a pair of O'Neill's gloves? Well, I was given these by the club just for today. Uh, but I, I do think it's actually pretty easy to get stuff for Gaelic football. Yeah. Um, is, there, is there shops here or would you just get them online? Well, I think if you're looking specifically for Gaelic football stuff, you can get it online. Mm -hmm. But for things like like gloves and like mouth guards, like usually they're in the stores, just not advertised for Gaelic football, okay. like for boxing or for regular football, that kind of thing. Brilliant. And we're just looking out at the training here at the minute. So is it a mix of Irish and Slovaks and English like yourself? Or is there people from all over the world? Yeah, everyone's from all over the world, I'd say. Um, not as many Slovaks. I don't think anyone here even knows what Gaelic football is. Um, so it's really hard to get actual Slovak people to come play. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's very international. Most people, they work for the international schools, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So everyone's from all over. And so your friends, would they have any clue when you tell them on a, on a Sunday you're going out to play Gaelic football? Would they know what that is? Well, um, a couple of months ago, I, I tried to get them all to come down and they, they volunteered for one of the tournaments. And before doing that, they had literally no idea what the sport was. I had to explain to them. And even then, like, it was only until they'd actually seen it that they really understood the game. So, yeah, they never heard of it. And you could be a part of so many different clubs, so many different sports. Why do you choose to be involved here with the GA? Oh, yeah. Well, so I used to be a part of my school's football and basketball team, but they all stopped because of COVID. And so I needed to play a sport, not just because I wanted to, but also I need to do it to pass my high school, to get my high school diploma, because okay. uh, we had to do activity as part of it. And so then I was like, yeah, I'll come down here with my brother. And he suggested it. Wow. Um, yeah. Sorry. So what's that about then? You actually have to do some sort of physical activity in order to pass high school? Yeah, so I'm doing the IB diploma and part of that is you have to do something called CAS, which stands for Creativity, Activity and Service. So I play the piano for my creativity, for activity it's Gaelic football and then for service I work at my school library. So Brilliant, so Gaelic football actually is included, it, it qualifies? Yeah, yeah it does. Wow. Um, That's amazing. And so the, the training here, is it tough, is it intense? You train from one o'clock till half two, that's quite long. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Some days are better than others. Um, I'd say that in the summer, like just at the beginning, at, at the beginning of autumn, that kind of thing, it's definitely a lot easier. But once we get into, uh, you know, the end of the year, the beginning of next year, that's when we get really intense. And I'm like, I'm coming away from trainings, aches and pains, that sort of thing. You know, Brilliant. So that's the pre-season. That's all the hard running. Yeah. <laughs> no one likes that. <laughs> Brilliant, Mario. Well, thanks a million. I'll let you jump back into your training. Thank you. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Seamus. I'm from Belfast, County Antrim. 
And Seamus, how did you get involved here at Slovak Shamrocks? Well, I originally found out about the team when I was on Erasmus, actually, in 2013. I actually wasn't in Bratislava and Shane, a few of the boys were living in Bratislava. We actually came down for a training just then and then I moved here and joined the team then. And how important is the team to you now? Is it a bit of a home away from home? Yeah, it's been great. It's like we've been on little holidays together. We've been on like every tournament's like a little holiday, it's a little trip. So every every weekend, every Sunday now. So it's great. If we hang out with people, we're heading off to like a, a local beverage facility after this. So it's pretty nice. <laughs> A beverage facility, Seamus. What's that? <laughs> uh, an old uh, PUB. <laughs> it's all that side of things as well. It's important, isn't it? The socialising. Yeah, that's kind of what the club's been great for for me. You know, it's been like I kind of stopped playing Gaelic for about I don't know about six years, mm -hmm. and come back here actually made me fall back in love with the sport because it was like so friendly and there was it's so many international people. It keeps yeah. you here. Like when you see new people coming in, pick up the sport. It keeps your motivation up to play. So it's really fun. And you do play in tournaments as well? Yeah, we do. We have tournaments, usually three, maybe four a year. Um, where our division's like Central East, so we've got to go to Germany, um, Austria usually, Czech Republic, and then the Europeans are usually maybe somewhere like in the Netherlands. Brilliant. And Seamus, what position do you play? Halfback, usually. Oh, Halfback, yeah. usually, yeah. Is, is that where you like playing or are you put there? Um, it's where I used to play, but I kind of hid it from the club for a few years. <laughs> 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 and then I got found out being like, oh, you're pretty good there. Like, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I do like playing there. You get on the ball more and yeah. you're in a position as being one of the more experienced players of the team where you can help more of the, that's called the newer players out because you're in a position that impacts the game. So yeah. it's good to guide them through it. And I, I do enjoy it. Yeah, you're in the spine of the team, definitely. And so when you're walking around in your Antrim jersey around Slovakia, do people be asking, what's that? Yeah, it's cool. So actually, you know, I actually wear the football jerseys with them in school teaching as well. You know, so it's, they're always asking, like, what's this? Because it's not even English language. So they're always asking. So it's good because then you can quickly tell them, like, where are you from? You can tell them about the sport. So it's a, a nice bit of uh, publicity for indoctrination of Irish <laughs> culture on Slovakia. Brilliant. And a lot of you here work at Cambridge School? Uh, I'm not actually at Cambridge School. But I know a lot of team are on that. A lot of a lot of the team are teachers, though, yeah. various places around Bratislava. Okay. So, yeah, we have a big teaching community. That's why usually in the summer we don't really have trainings. It's okay. also it's super hot. Yeah. And But, yeah, we usually recruit for teaching. So it's it's good because we work with the kids. A lot of kids actually know about the sport and try it. Some people teach P lessons. Um, so it's good to see that. Brilliant. And do you get home very often? Um... I used to go back a bit more often than now, but yeah, I go home. I was actually home this week again, so... Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so. yeah short flight, so grand. Yeah, it's a direct flight from Bratislava straight out, or even Vienna is also straight, so it's pretty easy. What's your name and where are you from? Shane Crean, and I'm from Clonmel, County Tipperary. And how did you get involved here at Slovak Shamrocks? Well, actually, I originally moved here in 2011, and it's the same year that the club was founded. So we just celebrated last year the 10-year anniversary of the club. Now, obviously, with the pandemic, it was slightly, slightly muted celebration, but we're absolutely back with a bang now with pre-season tra training, and we're ready for the 11th season for this club. <laughs> Brilliant. And so what is it like here during the week? Do you train once or twice a week, or, or how does it all work? We train twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, we have this facility out in the outskirts of Bratislava in Karlova Ves. And it's been absolutely fantastic. As you can see, we don't have uh, Gaelic football facilities. Mm -hmm. So we're using typically AstroTurf, indoor grounds, anything like that we can get our hands on. Here's absolutely perfect for what we, what we need. Mm -hmm. And it's been another lovely day of training. We've got like a really diverse team. Uh, one girl today from Ukraine was her first time playing in Gaelic, Gaelic football. And after 90 minutes or so, she's starting to get it and she'll be back. Yeah. And how important is this club, say for you, when you move away from home, to have that, I suppose, home away from home? Yeah, um, it for me, it's kind of like a cultural, social centre. So when we find expats move to this town, we can reach out to them, help them with uh, bureaucracy, foreign police, finding a bank, finding accommodation. We try to help people as much as possible. And then there's the added bonus of training at the weekend or midweek and plenty of tournaments and events to keep ourselves busy. Yeah, it's so important to have that. Like I was just speaking to Orla there and she said that before she even arrived, she was getting messages to say, you know, the club is here and will you join? Remember, yeah. yeah, and it's important to have that because when you arrive somewhere, like yeah. you said, even setting up a bank account, all these things that you're, course, you're not yeah. sure how to go about it. Yeah, and we try to help as much as we can and reach out to people. Like as soon as we see someone 
and foreigners in Bratislava Facebook page mm. with an Irish surname, but not even just the Irish. Um, Orla's probably already mentioned, but we're probably the most diverse team in our region. Mm -hmm. We don't have the benefits of having maybe like a large university here with Irish students or just uh, a large Irish population in general, like our Berlins, our Prague's, Vienna. We're, we're close neighbours of the Vienna Gales. We have a good friendly rivalry there. Mm -hmm. Uh, we just played them recently and we're like we're trying to get as many Slovaks in as possible but we've got a lot of internationals from as far as Zimbabwe to Egypt to Brazil all four corners of the, the world and that's the Slovak Shamrock's all about trying to reach out and spread our sport and our Irish culture and so are you the main trainer here? I am not, um, but I've been involved in the club for 11 years, so they can't really get rid of me. Uh, we've got some fantastic trainers here. That um, we've, We had some training courses. Um, we had players, uh, county players from Ireland come over, do some training courses with us. So a few of us have the, the training for kids, for ladies and for novice training as well. So we're trying to build up the amount of coaches we have in the club through certificates and and training and development. Um, recently we did an online course during the pandemic so that was very useful because we couldn't get out and train but we could still learn and, and, and keep kind of developing. And I'm looking around and just at the training there's so many people that have just picked it up in the last like one or two training sessions and their skills are pretty good so they're picking it up pretty fast. Yeah, absolutely it's great to see that enthusiasm. Tanya today she's uh, our new Ukrainian player it's her first session um, we've got Marika from Germany it's her second session and they're absolutely smashing it. So it's, it's exciting as well. So we, the, the club keeps growing. You know, expat life is people come and go a little bit. So it's great that we keep getting uh, new new teammates every every year. And how did you end up out here in Slovakia, Shane? Um, not the typical story. It's actually uh, quite boring, but it was a, a job offer that I, I, I found quite interesting. And then things started to take shape and I started getting involved in my own, own kind of projects and decided, yeah, I'm going to stay. Brilliant. So the, the near future is definitely Bratislava and Slovakia. Amazing. And would you have played Gaelic football back home? Yes, actually, Clonmel Commercials, my club at home. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Shout out to the lads there. And I actually was also uh, playing football for Prague Hibernians for a few years. Uh, nice. That's a, a controversial transfer, but <laughs> absolutely I uh, loved my time there as well. It's great to see so many clubs in Europe. Mm -hmm. Uh, gives us opportunities. It's not as easy as a home because you might have a village 10 minutes down the road to play. But, you know, we've got Vienna an hour away, Prague a few hours away, Budapest, uh, Berlin. So we get opportunities to travel and um, we've been quite successful on the, on the European scene as well. Like two uh, junior championships and the men's and a regional for the ladies as well. Um, Trophy cabinet has been quite barren the last couple of years, but COVID hasn't helped us and we're hoping to renew some rivalries with uh, the rest of the region. Yeah, well, looking at the skill out there today, I've no doubt that the trophies are going to be coming ticking fast. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm here all because of, obviously there's a massive game happening on Tuesday night. Uh, will you be heading along to Slovakia versus Ireland? Absolutely. So the game takes place in a lovely town called Senec, just outside of Bratislava. Uh, I'll be there supporting Katie McCabe and the rest of the squad. Um, you know, we're, we're close to that playoff place, so, you know, one, one last push and I think uh, we could be heading down under, I believe, the yeah. World Cup. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so good luck to the Irish ladies on, on Tuesday night. I'm sure they're going to do it. Gabby, um, you're telling me that Ireland recently <laughs> beat the All Blacks. You're a big All Blacks fan. <laughs> you shouldn't do this to me. <laughs> so you're from New Zealand, you're living here in Slovakia. How did that come about? Um, well, my partner, he works for the British Embassy. Um, so I came over with him Brilliant. and then I found these guys on Facebook actually. First thing I did was turn up to a barbecue in summertime and then it all just sort of went from there. Kicked the ball around and then I was suddenly part of the club. And had you ever played Gaelic football prior to that? No, no, I hadn't really heard of it. I'd heard of Aussie Rules, the Australian similar game, um, but never knew anything about Gaelic football and thought it looked a bit crazy <laughs> from the outside. <laughs> and so how long are you playing it now and how do you find it? Um, I've been with the club for about two years um, and 
Uh, I'm getting better, <laughs> really. Um, I, it's a really fun sport and I just love the team atmosphere of it as well. And it's a really great way to like make friends in a foreign city as well. Mm -hmm. And sort of everywhere in the world there seem to be these Gaelic football clubs and it just brings people together all around the world. Yeah, it's amazing. I was even shocked when I was coming here to Slovakia that there was a team, you know, and it's amazing to see us all out here training. And they were telling me he's trained twice a week and then he's go off to tournaments as well. Yeah, yeah we have, a, have a lots of tournaments throughout the year. I mean, they were a bit interfered with by COVID, but it still hasn't stopped the trainings and things. We've always found a way to, within like the rules and stuff, we've managed to keep the trainings going and just find a way around it and still starting to attend more tournaments now. Mm -hmm. Um, as things get easier. Absolutely. <laughs> and the game itself, what's the toughest skill do you think and what do you love most about it? Um, I think for myself, coming from sports like netball, where you're not allowed to run with the ball, I think learning to run with the ball was very, very challenging. And also learning to solo with your the foot solo, like just... <laughs> timing counting kicking yeah. things like that and it's such a fast-paced game that like you just don't realize how fast it is until you've got three girls running at you to try and get the ball off you <laughs> yeah and what position do you play um I think I'm quite versatile I think when I first started playing I was more defensive and then this season I've been a bit more attack but I kind of go everywhere except for the middle so wow. okay. well, that's good that means you can go anywhere you must be a good player then <laughs> I don't know I'm quite competitive <laughs> and I see the flag behind us Do you want to pick it up and show us here yeah the Slovak Shamrocks GA club flag amazing good stuff and then your jersey let me see the jersey Woo. 